Hello everyone. So I read Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World by Adam Grant for um, my childhood development class. Um, so, okay, a short synopsis of this book. Um, honestly, I felt like this book was really dry and kind of like rambling. And I felt like the way it was organized was kind of strange. So let me tell you about this book. Basically, it's talking about originality and how to utilize originality, how to make originality, and how to essentially use your originality to make more originality, right? But also it talked a lot about like different aspects of like uh, social interaction. So for example, there um, it was a lot of just like discussion of like psychological improvements on like how you could be potentially like a better person's maybe as like a public speaker or um, as like a parent, something like that, right? So my favorite example from this book was actually from a, a portion called Don't Stop Believing. And basically what the researchers had these people do was they told them to say that they were excited or they told them to say that they were anxious before going out and singing the song don't stop believing in public. And what happened was those who said, I'm excited, actually sang a lot more accurately than those who said, I'm anxious. And I find this really, really relevant because a lot of times I think we like to label emotions, which is good, but sometimes we label them incorrectly or even like purposely uh, label them incorrectly because we want to express like something and be relatable to like our peers, for example. So for example, if I was going to give a speech, I might say I'm nervous, but when in reality, my, my adrenaline is pumping and I might be shaking, but am I actually like psychologically afraid or nervous? And the answer is no, I'm actually excited. And so by saying I'm excited, even though I'm not being as like relatable, this actually really helps me improve, right? So I found this was uh, found this interesting and I wanted to relate this to my own development. So when I was a kid, I was pretty outgoing. I sang a solo in church at eight years old and I was really excited about it, right? And I did stuff like that up until I was about 14 and then people started telling me like, well, aren't you anxious? Aren't you anxious? And I never really thought about like, do I need to be anxious before? I had always just felt excited. And so I actually started performing worse when I was about like 15 years old because I started saying to myself, well, I like, I should be anxious because like that's what I was told to interpret what I was feeling as. And I think that we need to relate this to child development generally in that parenting techniques, we shouldn't be telling our kids to be afraid or be anxious. We should be telling them to be excited, but also with other emotion combinations as well. For example, um, we need to be able to tell our children that it's okay to be angry, but also it's okay to feel empty or fed up or done or tired, right? And a lot of times I think kids lash out because they're told like you're grumpy right well what if you say you're tired not you're mad or you're angry so you're gonna be mean and grumpy towards me right i don't know i think that changing this emotional outlook is pretty interesting and i think there's a lot of things that this could be applied to thank you